I ate top seed crackers and this is what happened to my blood glucose level. Can you eat a cracker that won't spike your blood glucose level? Hi, I'm Dr. Derek Alessi, the high octane dad, helping to unlock the superhuman potential inside every father. And please remember to like and subscribe to the videos down below so I could keep making content that's important to you. A question that clients ask me all the time is, what can I have when I want a snack that won't increase my blood sugar level and I don't want to have chicken and I don't just want to have protein powder? Well. I want to take a look at a cracker that is becoming more and more popular. Yes, it is made in Buffalo, which is uh, where I live, so I'm a little bit biased towards this. But I want to see if this product is all that it's built up to be. So let's look at Top Seed Crackers. Okay, so if we look inside the label, we can see just from the outside, the cracker is gluten-free, grain-free, and paleo-friendly. In general, when you see something that says paleo-friendly, it means it's using all unprocessed ingredients in it, which is, of course, better. I'm a person that always looks for food quality. However, when you take a look at the back of the package, it gives you the ingredient list. And remember, they're in order of abundance. So the top seeds, seed mix is sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, flax seeds, pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, hemp seeds, arrowroot, and in case you don't know what arrowroot is, it is like a grain, although it is grain free, but it's designed to be a thickening agent to hold things together, extra virgin olive oil, and sea salt. Also too, when we look at the panel, the serving size is six crackers, which is about 170 calories, 14 grams of fat. Now, remember what we talk about. It's not the fat that's necessarily the problem. Yes, some people might look at this and say, it may not be the best fat coming from sesame seeds and sunflower oil. You're hearing more and more that those are possibly high inflammatory oils, but let's put that aside just for a moment. It also contains 10 grams of carbs and 4 grams of protein. Okay, we talked about it long enough. It's time now to get some blood glucose readings and to take a look and test out top seeds. Just before we get started here, I'm going to get a baseline glucose number using my CGM. Okay, so right now I'm at 99. Let's eat the crackers and see what happens. So remember, a serving size is six crackers. I think the first one broke. That's three, four, five, and let's get a whole one. Six. By the way, I honestly have no idea how they get an accurate serving size. Every one of the crackers is a completely different size. Okay, time to eat. Let's try these out. The taste isn't bad, it's a little bit dry, uh, but then again, I like the taste of seeds, I like the taste of nuts. It's fine to me, I get that a lot of people would probably be dipping something into this, some type of vegetable dip or possibly some hummus or something like that, maybe even putting butter on it. I'm just going to have a plain, I don't want to change my glucose level or affect the test by adding butter or hummus or a vegetable dip. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes since I had six of the crackers, which is about 30 grams. Kind of hard to do since all the crackers are slightly different size, but I think I was approximately at the right serving size. So 102, I'm up slightly, so that's a plus three points or so. All in all, not too bad. Let's continue watching. It's been about 20 minutes or so since I first had the crackers. Let's take a look at the blood glucose level. Okay, 
Okay, 102, so uh, up just a little bit more. We're gonna keep an eye on it and uh, we'll keep measuring the increase to see what happens. Okay, it's been a little over 30 minutes or so since I ate the crackers. Let's now take a look at the blood glucose level. Oh, 116. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it would still be in the 103, 102, 104 range. That did surprise me. Uh, it's been about 30 minutes. Not completely uncommon for a complex carbohydrate. Uh, this does have seeds and nuts, but keep in mind, seeds and nuts do still have carbs in it. And so does arrowroot, which is the binding agent. It is lower glycemic index than using almond flour or certainly white flour, but you can see clearly it's not a protein and it's not a fat. When you have a carbohydrate, there always will be some blood glucose fluctuation. 116, so we'll see where we go from there. Now it's been about an hour and a half since I had the crackers. Why an hour and a half? Well, look, I had to bring my kids to swim practice, pick them up, drop them off, and then I came back to the office to film this video to take a look at the blood sugar level now. So let's get a scan. And I am 92. 92, so I was just 116, and that was about an hour ago. And now I'm 92, so if you take a look at that, you're like, wow, that's 24 points if my math is correct on that. So my body produced a lot of insulin to drop it 24 points in the last hour. Now, that can mean a bunch of different things, but I just wanted to throw that out there that that was the change, a 24-point blood sugar change in the past hour. Okay, so let's put it all together. What does all this mean? Well, when it comes to measuring top seeds, I think it's kind of divided, and let me explain. My blood glucose level went up about 16 points, 17 points or so, which isn't the end of the world when it comes to a cracker. Now keep in mind, it's already going to be more carbohydrate because it's a cracker, remember the arrowroot, and yes, still seeds and nuts do have carbs. They are not a pure fat, they are not a pure protein, yes there is some fat and protein in it, and that's what keeps it down a little bit lower, but nuts and seeds are carbs, combine that with the arrowroot we have about 16-17 points. But then we saw it come down dramatically an hour and a half later, dropping 24 four points, so I'm producing a lot of insulin. Now here's my take on the entire thing. I think it performed better than a Ritz cracker or a saltine. I do. However, keep in mind they are not exactly marketing themselves as being an ordinary cracker. They are calling themselves top seed. They are saying that it's paleo friendly, it's gluten free, it's giving you the impression that it's going to keep your blood sugar level low. All in all, I would give the blood glucose level probably a B minus C plus when it comes to stabilizing blood glucose level. But once again, I had a plane. Now, I don't know if many people would have it plain. They would probably dip it in something or put something on top of it. That will change your blood sugar level depending upon what you do. If you were to dip it just in something like olive oil or macadamia nut oil, it might buffer it so it doesn't go up as much. However, I realize that most people won't do that. They will use some type of vegetable dip some type of cheese or, or, or who knows, and I think their blood sugar level is going to go up a lot more. When it comes to taste, once again, just having them plain, I would give it a B minus B, somewhere in that range. It was okay. Would I go out of my way to do it? No, because it wasn't so good that I would have it by itself. But if you did have it with some oil, if you did it occasionally, I think it would be better than other crackers. Lastly, I would kind of view it as this. It's kind of like the low-tar cigarette. We all know that cigarettes are not good for you, but of course, if you really want to split hairs, a low-tar cigarette is going to theoretically be healthier for a person than a full-tar cigarette. I know that sounds crazy in today's day and age. You could see the same thing, though, with these types of products. It performs better than a cracker, 
Uh, nobody's saying that a cracker is good for you, but it's better than a cracker, so keep that in mind. Uh, all in all, that is my summary. Hopefully you like that today. Please remember to like and subscribe to the video down below so I could keep making content that's important to you. I'm Dr. Derek Alessi, the High Octane Dad, helping to unlock the superhuman potential inside every father.